a new star system alpha 3.23 ep2 patch just dropped this afternoon and uh, what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna go through the patch notes and at the end i'm gonna give you my thoughts on my initial impressions on this specific build that dropped this afternoon it's it's actually improving so let's get straight into it other features in gameplay in the location category there is an interior map tech updates that have been done transit base routing between zones um, has been added as well as um, raycast base point selection using mouse cursor seems to also been added I'm not exactly sure what this is but we'll have to see once i get on it and prevent misclicks such as inadvertently selecting a marker after releasing a mouse after dragging the view around under the gameplay category they added new law zone notifications and, and icon green zones crime stats qt impeded uh, and those kinds of things and they also did further ship thruster water impact polish also um, under cortex they did server performance optimization pass as well as ui performance optimization as well and i did notice this when i logged in uh just not too long ago right before recording this and i'll give you my thoughts at the end of this video um, under bug fixes they fix an issue where the movie glass and all apps are permanently and inconsistently skewed uh speculative and not um and may not fix all instances so um, I didn't notice this. It was uh, a little skewed to the right or to the left um, at times. And um, when I logged in, I think I didn't notice it that much, but uh, I'm gonna have to do some more testing with it. Um, they fixed an issue where service beacons cannot be created. They fixed an issue where not able to accept character creator. They fixed an issue regarding iron sights currently not folding down when a weapon has an attachment. That's a good fix. It is not possible to use WASD keys on customizer option, which can lead to overlapping options and sometimes losing control, making the customizer unusable. They also fixed an issue where carryable objects moved with the tractor beam and have no VFX when touching water and cannot be pushed below the water's surface. They also fixed an issue where servers and certain other assets are missing inside and around UGFs. They also fixed an issue where the ball turret is great art with no texture. This is regarding the Anvil Hornet series. They fixed an issue where UI does not update automatically, but updates once when the untracking and then tracking the contract again. They also fixed an issue where sensitivity scale in ADS slowdown is significantly due to site zoom and player FOV. They fixed an issue where a player character can spin rapidly when exiting prone. They fixed an issue where a character creator model snaps out of view in DNA screen if rotating while selecting body type. They fixed an issue where bottom visor elements will appear as both the Squadron 42 style and PU style layered on top of one another they fixed an issue where factions do not respond to undeserved attacks on their allies they also fixed an issue where after clicking the apply from facial hair under the hair color tab then using the undo feature will reset the default hairstyle instead they also fixed an issue where copians are not aligning themselves to the movement direction, causing them to slide sideways during the collision. Man, we haven't even found copian. I don't know what they're talking about. We've been looking for the past two days, so um, I don't know. I don't know what to tell you. Um, along with this is 12 client crashes, along with six server crashes and a back-end service crash fix. So now, like I said earlier, I said um, I was going to give you my thoughts on this build. This build that dropped this afternoon feels buttery smooth in comparison to the previous two builds since they dropped it into wave one and I'm really happy with it. I have not experienced any stutters. I was on for about maybe 50 minutes and no stutters. Everything was smooth, loaded and smooth. I transitioned from Orsin over to Seraphine and it was a smooth experience all throughout. The Moby Glass felt smooth. Um, 
everything, everything, all the interactions were smooth. And I think the performance updates that they did for this is stellar. So hopefully they continue to move in this direction. And I hope uh, if it does continue this way, we can get this thing to a live build sooner than we think, hopefully. All right, so those are my thoughts. Just to let y'all know, my organization, Phase One Industries, is now recruiting new and veteran players. If you are interested, you can find our Discord in the description down below. While you're down there, leave a like, subscribe. I'll catch you on the next video.